I'm back once again and um, today's lesson is going to be making a trousers but it's going to be a kind of a legging trousers so it's going to be tapered down going down the leg and it's not going to be full length it's going to stop just over the knee somewhere along I'm going to make this trousers as long as the fabric can give me now you've seen me make a box pleat skirt and you've seen me make a camel came top so now the fabric is the same fabric as the leftover so that's what you're seeing here at the moment so I'm gonna see what I can get out of it now this trousers I recommend that you when you make it please make it with a fabric that has got a little bit of giving it so stretchy jersey, uh, viesco, polyester, anything that stretches a little. Yes, I'm going to make it with a cotton fabric because that's what I've got left over. Uh, but um, if you just learned the concept of how I do this. Now, the fabric is not enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of patchwork. And you know, every patchwork is a style nobody can tell you otherwise uh, so i'm going to add some more fabric to the side of the, tr the trousers to widen it and doing this because the fabric does not give so i need room in able to get into it and because i haven't got enough to go around my leg i need to add it to spread so that i can have comfort in my leg but this fabric is so busy, you probably won't even notice the joinings that's in it. But if you do it, and you're going to add to the side exactly what I did, then that side, if you now use a different colour fabric as a contrast, then you've got a different style. If I had enough fabric, I would actually put pockets in it. Now, to make this trousers simple, quick and easy, I'm going to now put in an elastic and that is why I'm going to make it a little bit wider because it's uh, cotton when you sit down it will be too tight and you will hear it rip so I'm going to give it a bit more room to make it comfortable but not too much because I don't want baggy trousers and then that can make top that you saw me make I'm going to put it over it and then you'll see a style a new one and it would be easy now, I want to thank everybody that has tuned in to my videos that I have put up. I love your comment and it, it, uh, it just makes me lovely. There's one person in particular and you're all the way in Jamaica. I'm sorry, but I tried to um, uh, reply to you, but yours is not accepting um, replies. But thank you for tuning in all the way from Jamaica. Uh, as for the others, Ricky, I think it's Veryl or Veryl, uh, Dana or Dana, um, Hose, Hose, let me see, H-O-O-T-E-N-A-N-N-Y. I don't know how to pronounce it, but thank you for your comments and I'll do my best to keep it coming, but I'm just waiting for my workroom um, so I hope you enjoyed this video as well. So I will now get on with it. Right, I want the shape of the crutch, but the crutch to me is going out too far. So I'm going to take the shape of the crutch and go up. So all I need is just a crotch. So um, I'm going to cut that out. Let me see now. Here's the waist. And my fabric is just about in. So I'm going to go up to the Let me pull this down a bit. So there's a crotch I want. So let me just draw something. It's important to have a deep inner crotch. So that could be comfortable. For you so let me just draw that there and bring it out here and then from here 
I'm going to take it up to around here. So here's my circle. It still has just a just a little slight just a slight dent. So that's my crutch. I hope it's deep enough. If not, I'll take it out a bit deeper. From there that's going to my, my leg. The inside of my leg the inside of my leg is 22 inches. So half of 22 is 11. So there you see that's 11 inches to go, including the seam allowance. 11 inches, that means that it would be so tight. So I've got enough room because this fabric at the side, I'm going to join it. So now I will decide from there to there, because I don't want my legs to be, the trousers to be tight, um, to draw, what have I done with the pen? It's camouflaged. So, let's say, let's look at it that way. There is going to be the inside of my leg. Now this is leftover fabric. So that's that. waist. I'm just going to draw a straight waist at the moment. So that's my waist. Now to make the commitment, let's cut it. By doing this, I've got both the back and the front at the same. So, one needs to be different from the other. But when I, once I've done this and sorted it out, we'll see. Do I want these trousers? I'm gonna have it going up to my calf. So I'm gonna make it 28 inches from the top here to there is 28 inches. Now let's go from the crutch. Let's go from the crutch. 28 inches from the crutch. Right, so from the crutch, 28 inches down is where I'm going to do my leg and so let me slide this up and I think to make it different I'm going to have turn-ups at the bottom of my legs so 
28 plus 4 inches is 32 so I'll, do, I'll cut it at 34 and then I'll get the waistband out of this fabric as left over so, let me slide this up so you can see what I'm doing down the bottom here because I've got the camera on the table you see so there's the leg going all the way down in actual fact I've got the fabric let me just cut let's make it longer yeah let's make it longer What I need now is I need the fabric. To join on to make my chassis wider. But at the same time, I'm not taking into consideration which way I've got the pattern here because, which I should, uh, yes I should. So let's put the pattern the same way. Let's match this up. Where is the pattern? There is it, there it is, there it is. And the right side. That's the right side. So there it is, there it is. Can you see it? Uh, okay. It looks like it. Ooh, let's find another one. There you are. So you're upside down. There you are. That looks like a mirror image to me. Yeah, it is a mirror image. So that means this is the right side. So there it is. There it is. Okay. So the inside is the right side. So now we've established that this bit here is the right side. But what I didn't check is on the top that I made if this whole thing was the same way. So that would be a mistake if I haven't. But nevertheless, it will still work. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. So... There's that going, that side of the trousers. And then I'm going to have to cut this off and then turn it the other way around. So, still, still going up, yep. That's that side. So now I'm gonna cut it off and then turn this top fabric the right way so they're both going the, the same way. careful that I don't put two rights together so that's now going the same way but now this is the right side and that is the right side so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kiss those so that the two right sides are facing each other and I'm still double checking to make sure that the pattern is right there we go mirror image so let's put, let's put 
this one on top. So there we have it. So this is going to go and join the trousers there. So I'm just going to cut off a strip. A strip around that wide. And that's the width of the fabric. Join it together and I should have enough room. Because the leg is big. I should have enough room to get into it. That's that, that's my main objective, is to get into it. There. So I've going, I'm going to increase it by four inches, and that should be enough. So if I increase it by four inches, there, this bit here, there's eleven. So I've got one, two, three inches there. So three inches times six, or three inches times two, six inches wider. That's all I need. So let me cut that. And that's what's going to add on to the fabric going down. Look at this. You see this pattern right here? There's a, there's a pattern going all the way down. If I now concentrate on that pattern and not that, so disregard this, so that when I join it, look at that. So you've got to look out for these things. When I join it, I've got this pattern going all the way down the leg, which will be continuity. There you are, look at that pattern. So I'm going to see that if I've got that pattern on the other side, I should do. Let's double check. There it is. There's the pattern going now. So that's what I'm going for. So now I'm not going to cut it at four inches. I'm going to cut it wider to make sure I get that pattern in. So there's the pattern. So I'm going to cut. There's a row of flowers here. I'm going to cut this row of flowers. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? There it is. This is the bit I want to use, but there is a border pattern going all the way down, so I'm going to make use of that to put on my trousers. And I've also got it at the other end as well. So instead of cutting it at the four inches, I've cut it bigger to have that border going all the way down. Now you can see this thing. What I'm going to do as well, because it's, I'm going to make a feature out of this, uh, the way how it's creased, so it will be definitely permanent or show. So I'm going to either top stitch it or put that, um, the, um, what did I say it was? Embroidery going all the way down. But this time if I do it, I'll do it in black so it really stands out. So I'm going to have that going that side and I'm going to have that going that way. But if I can, I'm going to try and get a pocket. Or if I don't get a pocket, an imitation of a pocket. Put, just put something going across so it looks like a pocket. Or put the embroidery to look like a pocket. But I'm going to do something. Right, so that's what that's done now. So we've got this section here, and I'm yet to cut this off and open it up. Let me do this now for you. They call this as well freehand sewing without a pattern. Freehand. That's that, that's that, that's that. Now all I need now 
is my waistband. Right, so let's put that aside. So this waistband here is going to be not so big. So I'm going to cut that down because my elastic is only one inch wide, which I don't like. But that's all I can get so that I can complete this task today. So one inch wide. One inch wide, so there it is, goes around, and that's oh, that's basically it for for the waistband. But once again, it's transparent, and I don't like that. So guess what? We're going to double the fabric because I don't want it. So it's going to make it a little bit thicker, thicker, but so be it. And the thing about it is, when wearing this as well, you're going to have to wear black but black underwears because it looks like it's going to be transparent. Right, so there it is. So that's the waistband. That's it, so that's, that's ready. All right, so now that we're at this stage, let's start sewing. Or, what do I do? Or do I just imitate a pocket? Yeah, let's imitate a pocket. Right, if we were to just do this. Fold the fabric over like that and put the fabric on top and then do some embroidery on top in there. And then we've imitated a, 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 a pocket. But it can't be used. But you now, what you do is this you can do in another colour, and this in another colour, and you've got yourself a contrast. So, that's busy, that's busy, that's busy. That's more busier than this one. So I better use, that's less busy. Now I'll leave it busy. Right, so now I'm going to overlock these and get them ready. So I'm going to overlock this bit here. I'm going to overlock this bit. Um, I'm going to... Let's see now. I'm going to nip it, stitch these on, just say, there. There. Because it's only a style. But when I stitch it on, I'm going to stitch it on like that and then fold it on itself and then it'll be like that. But I'm going to do some embroidery, so let me do that first and I'll come back to you and I'll show you step by step. Now that the embroidery is done on the pocket, it makes it stand out a bit more. So now this time I've used black, which is what I should have done on the camé top, so it could stand out much more. So I've done that. And now I'm going to make sure that they're both the same size. So put them together and recut them and make sure they're the same size. Knit them and then put them in. What I've done here as well is on the trousers, I've knit here and I've knit there. So that's where the pockets are going to go. So when I sew the pockets in, or, or what's going to look like a pocket, I'm going to put the wrong side from knit to knit. There's the first knit, put one here, and sew to knit to knit, and then fold it back on itself. But what I think I should do, I think I should overlock the inside so that the raw edges is nice and tidy inside. Let me separate it. So there's two here, let's move this aside, and there's two here. And then I've got to remember that this is the right side. So that's one side and now we're going to have the mirror image. And when I stitch this, this will come back on its side. So now we're going to have the mirror image. We're going to look for the good side, which one I'm going to have. 
that's the wrong side. So there's the nip there. I'll put it to the nip. And make sure this point is past the point. And look for the other nip. There's the other nip. So that's where these I seem to be getting a bit carried away here. So here are my po my flaps, which are my pockets. I had to top stitch this anyway, and I thought, you know what, let me top stitch it in embroideries to make the pattern really stand out. But I'm getting a bit too carried away. So anyway, we've got this over lap. So let's just cut this off. We don't need it and cut this off here. We don't need it. And also the same here, we cut this off as well and still continue to take the shape of the trousers because we don't need it. And this bit here as well. Because the top bit's now going to stitch on top. So there we have our uh, inner part of our trousers. So now we've got this pattern here. And I'm just going to stitch it on because I'm getting carried away. Uh, I'm going to now put this flap the inside on this side because the pattern here is more closer to the edge and I want that to show more. I've got to double check to that I've got the right side as well and it is. You can see the patterns are still the same. So that's gonna I'm gonna pin that onto that. And that's going to be pinned all the way down, which you will do. I will just stitch. And I'm going to also now make sure that this side is the same. Now this one here, the pattern here, is more over here. So that's a bit of a hiccup. But I'm still going to put this there. So this pattern here is a bit further away, which is sad. But um, if I turn it upside down, I will get it. Now this is my trousers, so one of the pattern will be upside down, but you see it's so busy, you won't really notice. But I prefer to do that than to have this pattern too far away. So you can maintain, that would be fine. Right, so, so this is going to be pinned onto it. Now, so I'm going to stitch all the way down, but before I go to my machine, I'm going to open this section up here, and this is where you're going to see the other side of the trousers, because while I'm at the machine, I might as well stitch the two down. Not forgetting that this is the inside, so that means that this section here belongs to, this section here belongs to this side. So I'm going to stitch this bit onto here, put it on. And that is me extending my leg and, and the back and the bottom. So I've got room now to put this on. So as we open it up now, you can see now we've got the shape of the crutch. There's that pocket. And then um, I'll stitch down here. And because I'm getting carried away with this top stitching lock, I might put another top stitch in here. If I put one here, it will show Hmm, that's a lot of work, but I just want to show how you can make a trousers or you can make things more interesting. So that's that. So let's put this one back on top, which is the other side, one leg. There's one, the other leg, and then I'll put this one on top. And then I'm going to go now and stitch away. Oh, that's that. 